Good morning. I've got a new worksheet for you today and the name of our worksheet is called Count in the School of Magic and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be counting. We're going to be using some tricks to help us solve the problem. The directions say finish the counting sentences, check the magic objects with the correct answer. So let's start down here at the first problem and the first problem says two more than four is and we need to solve what is that answer and we've got three options here we've got some magic hats we've got a hat with a six a hat with a seven and a hat with a five so we have to decide which one of these hats has the number that is two more than the number four so let's pay attention really quickly to these two words more than more than are clues to help us know that we need to add or we need to go up up on a number line so let's go ahead and do that for the first one let's make a number line and we need at least the number four here so I'm gonna put the number four right in the middle and I'm gonna put some numbers after it so four five six seven and I'm gonna put some numbers before it so we've got three two and one, so a number line, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but the number that we're working with is four, so right here. So this is where we're gonna start on our number line. And the directions say two more than four. So are we gonna go right, are we gonna go up and add on, are we gonna go left and subtract and go down? More than means we're gonna go up. So we're gonna start right here on the number four and we're gonna jump two more places. So count with me, one, two, and we land right here on this number, which is the number six. So let's see if we can find the magic hat over here on number six. Here we go, we've got number six. That's the very first hat. That is two more than four, okay? Now let's go on to the next problem. We've got some magic wands here. We've got a moon wand, and we've got a heart wand, and a star wand. Let's see what they want us to do with these wands. It says three less than eight is. Now, we can use a number line, and less than means that we're gonna go down or we're gonna subtract from eight. We can do that, or we can just write out a number problem. So three less than eight is actually this problem right here, eight minus three, or three less than eight, okay? Now, if we can't solve this, we can always draw a picture. So that's what I wanna do for this one. This is the way that I wanna solve this problem. We're gonna make eight dots, so count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna subtract three, or we're gonna have less than eight. So subtract with me, one, two, three, and we're gonna figure out the total. How many do we have left? Let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five. So our answer is gonna be five. Do you see the magic wand with the number five? Let's look. We've got four, five. Oh, there it is. It's the heart wand, isn't it? That's our answer. So let's go down to the next one. The next one says five more than 10 is. So is more than mean we add and go up or we subtract and go down, which is the answer. We're gonna add and go up, aren't we? So five more than 10. And our answers are either gonna be 15, 13, or 14 in these magic balls here. So we have to figure out which is the correct one. So let's do this. Let's add on, since we know it's gonna be more than. And another way we can solve this problem is we can use our fingers. Now, sometimes when we run out of fingers, we need to just use the numbers and add on. So what I'm gonna do is this. It says five more than 10. So in my head, I'm gonna start with the number 10 and I'm gonna use my five fingers to count up or add on, okay? So number 10, count with me, I've got five. I'm gonna count five more, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I just counted up five more from 10. So 15 was my answer. Let's see if we can find it. Do you see it down here? Yeah, it's the very first one, isn't it? Number 15 right here, okay? Five more than 10 is 15. Awesome job, we used our fingers on that one. Now let's go down to the last one. The last one says four less 
than 16 is, okay? So how should we do this? Let's do another number line for this one. There's lots of ways we can do it, but I wanna try it with a number line. So I'm gonna draw out a number line, and I'm gonna have the number 16 on here, and we're just gonna add a few more numbers up here to the side, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and if you already have a number line written out, that would be even better than drawing it out, but sometimes you don't always have one with you, so you can draw one out. 16 and then go down. We've got 15, 14, 13, 12, and 11. Okay, so I've got my number line, my 16, the number that I'm starting with is in the middle, and then it, we have to do something four places. Are we gonna go up and add on, or are we gonna subtract? Let's look at those words, less than. Less than tells us that we're gonna go down on the number line or we're gonna subtract. So let's start on our number 16. And how many places are we gonna go down? What was the other number? Four, right? So we're gonna move four places. So I want you to count with me. We're gonna go down one, two, three, four. And we land on this number right here which is the number 12, okay? So four less than 16 is 12. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna put a check right next to the magic book with the number 12. Awesome job today, kiddos. You did a great job. I will see you again next time. Bye-bye. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.